Jules, how have, how have you found the experience? This is the first time you've been down to, to the Six Nations launch. You obviously know what a huge tournament it is, but, but does this give you a kind of a, I suppose, just a further insight into that? It's definitely put into perspective. Um, you know, I'm always excited about it, looking forward to it, but actually being here and seeing all the players, all the coaches, um, the coverage that it gets, is just uh, make me look even more forward to it and uh, put it into perspective for me. Is it slightly scary, Scott, when, when you hear stats like the games are going to be shown in 160 countries around the world live? Not really. I think it's more scary the fact you turn up and uh, if you have a bad day at the office, your office usually contains 50,000 screaming fans. So I think that's more scary. But the, the fact is you've got to focus on what we do. Um, it's probably still about one billion people in China that don't really care. So if, if it doesn't go that great, I'll probably go to China. So it's not as, <laughs> it's not as, uh, as scary as it's meant to be. You concentrate on what you need to do. One uh, line that was thrown, it's 10 days until tournament begins. Uh, 11 days, I guess, for, for us. And for, for you, Jules, it's, uh, it's nine days until uh, you're actually on the field. Um, it's not a lot of time. How are, how are preparations? Um, they're going very well. Um, nine days to go. We're, we're well planned, well organised. We have a training camp this weekend, so um, just you're focusing on a day-to-day -day basis, what, what you've planned, what you're doing, and uh, nine days to go. Bring it on. Jono? The same, actually. We've got a good uh, start of the camp this week. We come back together on the Monday, um, and let's get ready to go. I mean, it'll, it's a great, great part of the year, great part of sporting culture in Britain. Proud to be part of it.